Hi, I wanted to show you how to make a tabletop easel out of a cardboard box. And this is the purpose is for children to get their hand in a more upright position, which usually makes the wrist fall into a better place rather than this kind of a wrist or this kind of a wrist. It doesn't work for all kids, but um, it's also good to work against gravity. And the other helpful thing about having a box easel is that if they're going to color and they go off the edge, they won't be going on to your table or if you had the paper up on a wall to make it vertical, they wouldn't be colored on your wall. So they'll just go off into space. All right, so first thing, I go on the end of the box and I am going to make a diagonal line from for where I'm going to cut. So I'm going from here down to this corner. And then I'm gonna do it on the same, um, make sure the up side is on the same side when I make my line down to the corner, just a rough line, not exact. Then I'm gonna take a box cutter and cut into it. Trying not to cut my wooden island here. There. All right, so I've got the cuts. They were on the same plane there. And then I just tuck the flaps in. And I'm gonna tuck all the flaps down. And there is the box easel. Now, I can clip paper on here, whatever, and write, and my hand is up in that vertical plane. All right, I hope that was clear, and you can see it's pretty sturdy. If it's sliding around, you could use like masking tape to tape it to your table. Um, you could put weights in there. And kind of a nice thing too, because it is a box and there's a space in there, if you wanted to store papers that the kids could use, uh, crayons, things like that, they could all go inside this easel. You can put it up and away when you don't think they should have it unsupervised and then you can just get it down and they'll have all their supplies in there. And you can use like a, a clothespin right here or one of these binder clips as a way to fasten the paper on. And you can always tape the paper down too. So lots you can do with this box easel. Let me know if you have questions.